Okay, everybody, here we are, part two. So we just got done compiling our custom Android kernel, and you're going to notice over here, we know everything went well because there's no errors that were output, and it says kernel arch arm boot z image is ready. So uh, what we want to do now is go back into the directory that we used to uh, put all of our kernel sources in, and this told us where the location of our uh, Z image is. It's in arch arm boot. Okay, so go into our kernel source, arch arm boot, and he here is our Z image. I'm just going to drag this to the root of the Android kernel directory. Next thing we need to do is get our Wi Fi module. Okay, you're going to find that in, let's see here, we're going to go into drivers. And we're going to go into net. Had a brain fart there for a second. Sorry about that. Actually, yep, net. <laughs> and then wireless is that. And then uh, where it says BCM4329 underscore 204, we're going to take the uh, BCM4329.ko. That's what we want. Let's bring this out over to our Android kernel, uh, the root of that particular directory. Okay, so we've got our uh, wireless driver here, module rather, and we have our Z image. Now, this any kernel uh, tool, very important. You need to go into this with an archive manager, okay? Um, you cannot unzip this because this has been signed, okay, with um, certain um, signing keys. Now, if you unzip this, you're going to break that signing and it's not going to flash to your device, okay? So, very important, you need to go into this with an archive manager. All right, so let's right click on this, open with archive manager. Now, there's a directory in here called kernel, okay? Let's go into this particular directory, okay? Now, let's take the Z image, okay? Drag and drop it right into that kernel directory, okay? Now, let's go back out. Let's go into System, Lib, Modules, okay? Let's take our um, Wi-Fi module, drag, and drop it into there. Perfect. Done. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to come over to our HTC... Thunderbolt. Now, you know what? So you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to open up a nifty little tool here in the Android SDK so you guys can follow along. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, see into SDK and tools. And we're going to open up DDMS. Okay, beautiful. All right, so here is our DDMS tool. There is my particular device. We're going to do a screen capture here so you guys can see. Okay, so here's the HTC Thunderbolt. Now, what I want to do here is under Applications, this will be the screen that you're going to see. What I want to do now is I want to go to development okay this section this uh, particular option right there where it says USB debugging you want to make sure that uh, a USB debugging is um, ticked off okay that's if you want to be able to do what I'm doing right here all right now um, what I want to do is turn uh, basically um, enable USB uh, mass storage on my device okay so right now it is in charge only I want to select disk drive okay then hit done okay now we are in disk drive okay now all we're going to do is we're going to come back over here where it says any kernel. Okay, and we're just going to drag and drop it on the root of our SD card. 
Oh, you know what? I already have a kernel on there, so let's let's get rid of that. Uh, big shout out here to Sky Raider. Um, I'm actually running his ROM right now. Amazing sensor ROM for the Thunderbolt, by the way. Um, so let's see here. Let's go back into our Android kernel directory. Let's drag and drop this to the root of our SD card. Okay, without unzipping this, remember, um, you can give this any type of um, a name that you would like. We can call this, um, hey, it's Lou, Mecca, it's a version 1. Okay, I renamed it. Let's uh, eject the uh, phone from the computer. All right. Now let's go back to our device. Going to make sure we put it, uh, take it out of the uh, USB mass storage setting, out of the disk drive setting. Change it back here to charge only, and select done. Okay. Now what I want to do is we're going to reboot the phone into recovery. Okay, so I'm going to select restart, this option right there. And then I'm going to select recovery. Okay, now I'm going to hit OK. Now, we're going to boot into recovery and we are going to flash the kernel to our device. Um, I'm not quite sure if DDMS is going to work while we're in recovery. I've actually never tried that before, so um, we'll find out though. If uh, it doesn't work and I'm not able to actually display it here, basically you're going to flash this kernel like you would flash any, uh, any type of ROM, okay? So we're going to flash the kernel just as we would a ROM inside of our custom recovery. All right, the device just rebooted. A little iced tea break here. All right, let's see if it can capture this. Oh, perfect. All right. I am in Clockwork Mod Recovery right now. Good rule of thumb when you're flashing a kernel. Come down here to where it says advanced. Okay, select that option. Then we're going to come down over here where it says wipe Dalvik cache. Select that. Once you select wipe Dalvik cache, it's going to bring you to this particular screen. Highlight wipe Dalvik cache, make that selection. It's a very quick process. When it's done, Okay, it'll say Delphi cache wiped. We're good to go. Um, let's go back to the main setting. So what we're going to do now is come down to the option where it says install zip from SD card. Okay, so we're going to select install zip from SD card. After we select that option, we're going to come down to the next option, which would be choose zip from SD card. And from here, you should be able to see what's on my SD card. We're going to come down to the kernel that we gave that custom name. And we're going to select that option. Okay, next screen. Come down, highlight. There it is, there's our kernel. Hit install. Very quick process, should look something like that. Down here, it should say ins install from SD card complete. If there was any errors, it's going to tell you right down there that there was uh, a, a particular error, but there wasn't. This worked fine. We're going to go back to the root of the recovery here. Okay, where it says reboot system now, select that. All right. And we are now rebooting our system. So if all goes well, <laughs> let's cross our fingers and our new 
kernel should hopefully boot. Um, that's obviously, uh, you know, <laughs> first and foremost. And we're going to make sure that uh, Wi-Fi works, okay? Because I had mentioned previously that um, the toolchain, the newest toolchain from uh, that Android has posted the NDK, the Revision 7 toolchain. It breaks the Wi-Fi uh, module. I'm going to make sure that because we use an older toolchain, that Wi-Fi works. As long as Wi-Fi works, we're in business. All right, we are still rebooting. Now, your reboot process may take a little bit longer because um, we wiped the Dalva cache. And when you reboot after the Dalva cache is wiped, it actually has to rebuild that cache all over again. Okay, so right now, again, I'm using Sky Raiders ROM here, Zeus, awesome ROM. Um, good developer too, by the way. Right now we are um, right here on the loading screen. We'll be here for a little while uh, just because, again, um, it's rebuilding that Dalvik cache. So it's going to probably hang here for a little bit. Let's see here. Still, still rebuilding the Dalvik cache. see so far so good if there was a problem with the kernel um, you wouldn't have gotten to this point uh, most likely depending on what the problem is but if there's any major problem you wouldn't have gotten to this point okay it wouldn't have booted at all so um, if you've made it this far, you're in business. Again, a couple of things to remember. When you're at the any kernel uh, tool, it's very important to note that you cannot unzip this. You cannot. It will break the signing uh, keys that were used uh, on this particular package here. You cannot do it. You've got to open it with an archive manager. Okay, and drag and drop things inside of the zip file without extracting it. Extremely important, okay? This tool will not work if you break those uh, signing keys. Also, there's a way to actually flash a kernel using a tool called Fastboot. Um, for Linux, for whatever reason, they don't include it in the Linux. Um, they used to include it in the SDK, uh, but they don't include it anymore in, in the Linux uh, version. I do have it, a copy of it. It was actually really kind of difficult to find, but uh, I was able to find it, and um, it's a little bit more involved to, to flash a kernel using Fastboot. Um, this is a little bit of an easier manual way uh, to do it, and it allows you to keep your kernels packaged up nice, and uh, you can install them. Say you have to reinstall your ROM, and you want to reinstall your custom kernel. You won't need a computer to do it. You can just go and install it in ROM Manager, so it's pretty nice. Our device is booted now. Here's the home screen. I'm going to show you guys um, where to look for our particular kernel. Okay, we've unlocked everything. All right, now uh, if you go into settings, scroll all the way down. Of course, you can't see it. Oh. It's going to say about phone all the way down here at the bottom. Select about phone. After you select about phone, we're going to come over here. It says software information. Okay, and here we go. Um, so, Android version, Sense version, uh, software number, this is the particular ROM I'm running. Next, what we want to do is we want to tap on where it says More. It says Baseband Kernel uh, Version. We're going to tap that. And let's take a look. Here we go. 2.6 kernel version, 2.6.35. Dot 10, hey, it's Lou, Mecca, version 1, Rizzo, at Fedora number 1, and here is the time and the date that it was compiled. So congratulations, if you've made it this far, you've compiled your own Android kernel, configured it uh, to, to customize uh, your particular needs, and you've successfully installed it on your Android device. Okay, so um, if you guys have run into any issues 
uh, at this point. Uh, use the comment section below. Please, anybody who's um, familiar with this process, if I'm not able to answer a question, um, because again, I, I do work full time, I do have uh, life responsibilities and stuff, I, I don't just uh, sit behind the computer all day, I'm not always able to, to see comments right away, but I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Please, help each other out in the comment section below. Other good resources um, that you may want to reference, uh, there is a uh, Android enthusiast website called Roots Wiki. Um, there is a whole community of people over there who are um, really amazing people, very knowledgeable. If you want any help on this whole kernel process, um, you can head over there too to get some information and uh, maybe um, ask some questions and get some people to help you there too. Okay, so uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, favorite it, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+. Uh, if you are an Android enthusiast website and you would like to use this uh, particular video on uh, your website, please send me a personal message here on YouTube um, and uh, we can talk about that. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, we will catch you next time.